Hi, welcome to discoveryourlifetoday.com. My name is Naveen Kora. Today I'm going to be going over the book A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, Awaken to Your Life's Purpose. Uh, I'm going to be going through all 10 chapters to make it very easily digestible. I'm actually going to make 10 separate videos, uh, one for each one of the chapters, so it's really easy to understand, easy to digest. Uh, for you guys. So, you know, as you're finishing each uh, chapter, each video, make sure you go and check out the next video uh, in sequence or even out of sequence based on what you're looking for. So I'm going to go through this chapter by chapter. Like I said, the idea is to awaken to life's purpose. I'm going to be reviewing the book as well as all the important questions or things that I thought of while reading this book. Uh, I wrote them down and I would like to for each one of you guys watching this video to learn from uh, Eckhart Tolle and what he's written because I believe this book is uh, a massive uh, for the way we can change, the way we think to become more successful because we need to understand who we are before we can change. So as I go through this, here we go. Chapter 1. I feel there is a shift pl taking place in my life today. All shifts in consciousness happen when I have stillness within me, when I listen to what is being said internally. I must remember myself until I know I am consciousness. What does it mean to be enlightened? Here's a good question to ask yourself. What do I want out of life? And what does life want out of me? It's another good question. To allow the right things to come to me, I will wait in stillness and the words and answers will come to me at that moment. It is important to find ways to rid yourself of repeating thoughts that you have every single day. Go where you feel the best energy around you and go where the best comes out of you from the energy that is around you. Look at everything around you with a different light. Look at nature and understand how perfect it is. Understand how you and nature interact with each other. Be here now. This is a great principle that Ram Dass also teaches. Do not go around naming things that are around you. Just focus on the present moment and be where you are. It is time to get out of your head and be in the present moment. Go deeper into the practice of what you believe in. There are many ways to be enlightened and find enlightenment. Do you know where you are right now? And how you can solve that problem and find the solutions. During the present moment, recognize what thoughts go through your mind. Recognize what thoughts are repeating thoughts as well. Do not always react to the world around you. Just be still and understand it is before you react, just understand it. Ask yourself, what energy am I putting out into the world? Don't deny the beliefs of others because they do not line up with the, your beliefs. There is great wisdom in what people say and other people's beliefs. Every day, Check your thoughts and find out if your thoughts are coming from your ego or your heart. Be aware of what you are doing, where you are, and what others are doing around you. Know that you are not your thought process. Your thoughts are not conditioning your mind with what has happened over the years. Watch your thoughts that go into your head course that means you have to guard your ears and your eyes when you ask questions it means you are aware of the situation around you be present and know when you are aware be aware of what your mindset is don't judge people when you do recognize that this is your old conditioning from your old processing system Ask God when you pray, what is my life's purpose? If you don't believe in God, that's okay. Ask yourself, what is my life's purpose? You don't become good by trying to be good. 
you have to find the goodness within yourself and then bring it out. This is a great uh, principle that Eckhart teaches in his book. Find new ways to find common bonds between you and others. How connected is your identity to your ego? Relearn how to do simple things by your conscious mind over your subconscious mind. Learn to see the stillness that is around you. Learn from it. Feel it. Understand it. Look at yourself in the present moment. Be present and experience all the things you do. Try not to think about your future plans. Just enjoy the present moment. Experience life. Don't try to understand it. Don't resist what is happening around you. Just embrace it. Ask yourself if you are truly present in the moment. Be aware of all five senses. Your touch, your smell, your sight, uh, your, your feelings, and your taste. Don't have expectations and don't lose uh, and don't let those expectations, sorry, define who you are. Learn lessons from everything around you. Do not, uh, if you don't know your relationship with the present moment, start building a relationship with the present moment. So this is chapter one of Eckhart Tolle's book, uh, A New Earth, Awaken to Your Life's Purpose. There's a lot of great information here to think about, to ponder, to understand. So re-watch this video, maybe pause it ev after every statement. Really try to understand how that uh, affects you, how does that make you feel, how does that work for you, and understand how you can change to become the person you want to be uh, versus the person who you are. Uh, check out the second video on chapter two, uh, or like I said, rewatch this. You can also go over to discoveryourlifetoday.com and you can actually read uh, the all 10 chapters of this by just punching in Urquhart Tolle and you'll go ahead and find that article. Thank you so much.